first of all, the WikiLeaks reports, just how, how damaging is this? How, they've responded saying they're looking into it urgently. Uh, right. Well, as you mentioned, there were many uh, uh, computing devices that were mentioned in that report from WikiLeaks, from uh, Apple phones to Android phones. But it, this is sort of the last thing that Samsung needs right now. They're trying to get uh, back on track, of course, after the troubles with the Note 7 smartphone that was bursting into flame last year. They're poised to introduce the next smartphone, and so they don't need any more hits to their brand uh, name at this point. Uh, as you mentioned, the WikiLeaks documents show that the CIA had been using a program called Weeping Angel to be able to convert these smart TVs into something that could be look like, it looked like it was turned off, but it would actually be monitoring what was going on uh, in the room. So yet, yeah, not, not a good thing for them. Not a good thing when it's a product element and also, meanwhile, at the helm of the entire company, Jay Wiley, going in to face court once again, Explain to us just how much the investigation into the executives of Samsung seems to have broadened out. Uh, that's right. Uh, today uh, in Asia, where it's Thursday, these will be the preliminary hearings for the uh, the trial. Uh, it's not clear at this point whether J. Y. Lee himself is going to appear, but the attorneys from both sides will appear and they'll lay out the time frame for the trial. One thing that's sort of striking about this investigation is how quickly it's moving at this point. The special prosecutor was set up um, and was uh, tasked with investigating these allegations of trading favors at the highest level of government and business, and he was only given about 90 days to do that, which is very, very quick by international standards. Certainly when you look mm. at some of the big scandals in the U.S., that's lightning fast. He asked for an extension, a 30-day investigation, and the same uh, uh, administration of the president who's, who's been impeached denied him the extra 30 days to keep digging. They also won't let him into the, uh, the president's uh, residence to be able to continue the investigation. So he's kind of playing a very quick game right now, and now the trial is going to begin, and that's going to move pretty quickly, too. Uh, what is it, what is, how is Asia responding? I mean, the investor base doesn't seem to be. We've seen Samsung near all-time highs when you're looking at the share price. But is there concern that indeed Jay Wiley could end up in prison? What does that mean for the business? Well, it is a high hurdle to prove that he personally was involved in some of these payments. Now, Samsung has denied any sort of wrongdoing here. They've said that they did give uh, tens of millions of dollars in payments to um, uh, to this confidant of, uh, of uh, the President uh, Park, but they've said that was not an exchange for payment. So there's a high hurdle for the lawyer, uh, the prosecutor in this case, to be able to actually prove that J.Y. Lee himself was involved in this. As you mentioned, the Samsung business has been continuing quite, quite strong. The shares are near an all-time high at this point. The chips business and the display businesses in particular have been doing quite well. So that's kind of bolstered them, and now they're going to come out with this new smartphone at the end of the month, so we'll see how that plays out. And one last element to be playing out is potentially looking for a bit of a PR coup, mainly from the United States, because it looks like they're looking at manufacturing more in the U.S. Uh, that's right. This is not the uh, smartphone business, but the appliance business. Uh, the company has said that they're looking for new manufacturing uh, facilities in the U.S. They do some of that at this point, and they may move some of this uh, manufacturing of uh, things like uh, ovens and washing machines into the U.S. Um, uh, we'll see. They said at this point that they haven't made any final decisions on that front, uh, but we should hear something relatively soon.